Yozora. Hey, what's up, guys? We're on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we got a special guest, Rob Lito. You know the vibe. Watch out. Spin move. So, let the people know where you from. I'm from Queens, but I'm being Brooklyn all the time. Like, Brooklyn raised me for real, for real. East New York. But you're still Jack and Queens? Yeah, facts. Northside, Jamaica, Queens. That's a fact. Okay, okay, okay. So, when did you get into music? Um, I've been doing music since, like, 2015, for real, for real. But I ain't really take it too serious. Like, we had some videos out and shit out there. But it wasn't really going nowhere to where I really wanted to go. Went to jail, came home. I don't want to really get into the jail shit, but came home, started taking it more serious. Me and my boy Drew started going crazy. And then from there, it just started going wild after that. Like, music started taking off, the views started going up. I'm like, oh yeah, this is what we're doing. If people fucking with us, we're going to make a movie. So how long you was in jail for? I did a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so you was writing in there? Yeah, I was in there writing and shit. Okay, yeah. okay. So when you came out, what was the first? What's your... I ain't even gonna answer this shit though. <laughs> so when you came out, what was the first song you did? The Fresh Out. Okay. Featuring Drew Form. Okay, so from that song to now, how do you feel like you improved as an artist? I think I did good. The last shit I dropped, 100k views in the week. Fresh Out did like 40k views, probably on like 50 now. So it's definitely an improvement, a lot going on. So I'm jacking it, people jacking it. Besides numbers, like you feel like you improved lyrically. Feel oh yeah, like definitely. You got I feel like yeah, yeah, about. yeah, definitely. My flow, I'm definitely perfecting my flow. I'm finding my lane with my craft and shit. Mm -hmm. So if you had a playlist, mm -hmm. or if someone was to place you in a playlist, what kind of artist would you compare yourself to, or nice. in a sense, or what vibe would you say? You club vibe, street vibes? No, I'm not gonna lie. I'll be really on my club vibe shit. Like I dropped the tape and all. Like Happy You Died Me. That's out now on all platforms too. That's like. Calm vibes. I'm not really on the drill type music all the time, but I could get into that field if I want to, feel me? Okay. I'm really on a club type of vibe. Okay, so what is it? You just don't want to do drill music? You feel like it's oversaturated? I mean, no, it's just not that I don't want to do it. It's not my lane, like. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's not what I really do. I don't drill rap. Okay, so when you're in a studio, like, how do you get into your vibe? Like, what inspires you to make a song? Or? It all depends on how I feel when I get to the studio. And that's the type of song I'm going to make that day. Well, I get in there, I'm in a bad mood, I'm going to talk some pain. In a good mood, I'm going to go crazy. We're going to turn that shit into like a party in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So you got a lot of songs with Drew. Would you say y'all like a dynamic duo? Yeah, respectfully, I ain't going to lie. Like, I do my numbers alone, but when me and bro do our thing, like, I should mm -hmm. just go crazy. So it's like, why stop? Why not keep giving that shit? They want it and inspire every time. So, yeah, definitely. It's a movie. Okay, so the song Watch Out, mm -hmm. 100K Plus. Yeah. And y'all got to dance to that song. Yeah, hell yeah. We feel like the dance definitely helped the song. Yeah. I mean, the video, the, the lyrics and everything was going to be crazy anyway, but the dance definitely, like, something new. Like, we don't really have no dancers to none of our music, so that was, like, the first one. So it's okay. on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? So how did the dance come about? Um, It came about when I was making the song. I'm like, y'all need to make a TikTok song. So I'm just like, pick one, can't you? So who made the dance though? That's what I mean. I made the dance, for real, for real. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so you was busting dance moves? <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, people usually pay the TikTok people to... No, nah, yeah, I made the dance. For me, I made so the you dance. officially made the dance. And shout out to Nada Dancer too. She definitely, she was the, one of the first ones to like send me a video back for me doing the dance and shit. Okay. So yeah, once she did it, everybody else was like, oh, no, nah, I'm about to go tap and do it too. Speaking of that, you guys got any collabs on the way? No. Not yet? Maybe nah, so? Not right now. Yeah, probably so. I'm saying. That watch out shit, I ain't gonna lie. She could have been on that shit too, but I'm saying. Well, you, maybe you might get a remix to watch out? Yeah, remix gonna be crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. You know what I mean? Remix okay. gonna be crazy though. Okay, okay, okay. And in, in, in your song, Happy You Doubted Me, about a real si was that about a real situation in life? Happy You Doubted Me, that's like the whole, that's the whole tape for real. Like, that's the whole mixtape I dropped. Yeah. yeah, it's happy you doubted me. Yeah, it's basically like happy you doubted me. So whoever thought I couldn't do what I was doing, I'm happy you doubted me because I'm doing it anyway, feel me? Mm -hmm. Like I'm elevating as I go. Like my craft is definitely starting to perfect it, like finding my lane. Well, so do you feel like you're underrated? I mean, 
Oh, you don't like when people, like, what, what nah, do you think about that? I wouldn't say underrated, because if I was like, I still got more music to put out, I'm saying? Like, I okay. only got, like, four like four videos out, a couple songs out for me. When, once I start really pressuring, going crazy, doing what I really do, then I'm saying that's when the outcome going to really show up. That's what I'm on now. We're going crazy right now. We got a lot going on. Okay. And one of your songs, you talk about a down-ass bitch. What is a down-ass bitch for you? Like, what would be a description? Wifey material, man. What, is that, what does that cook, mean? Cook, clean. <laughs> cook, clean. No one to stay in the crib, homebody. Not homebody, but you know what I'm saying? But uh -huh. just don't be doing the most. Don't be doing shit you know you ain't supposed to be doing, like, respectfully. Well, okay, okay. No doubt. We ain't doing that. No doubt. As you see. Quiet. We're going to keep our song. <laughs> I'm weak. So, um, so what, what, what's your favorite song that you've made so far? Right now is watch out. I'm not gonna lie, that's really my shit. Like, you don't got no unreleased that you. Oh yeah, I got like, mad. Like, yeah, hell that's yeah, that's I got that's... mad unreleased about to drop. Though. I ain't gonna lie, that shit oh, about to get crazy. Do you have a favorite unreleased song that we should look um, out for? Or yeah, I definitely do. Names. A, a, now we ain't dropping no names. We ain't dropping <laughs> nothing yet. It's lit. No names, nah, no, no nothing. nothing. Nah. But stay tuned for that. Watch out. Okay. Stay move. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so yeah, people like y'all beat selection. Like when you picking songs and making mm -hmm. songs, what 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 grasp you to a beat? Like what makes you like yeah, I gotta cook up on this. I mean, like, like I said, it depends on my mood. If I'm trying to make like a drill song or something like that, we're gonna go to some drill beats. But when I'm in my mode, like my Happy You Doubt Me tape, that's like album mode, like songs like that, like radio play. Feel me? Mm -hmm. You ain't really gotta blur too much out, like commercial <laughs> music and shit like that. Feel me? Like okay. So you're shooting more to be commercial artists? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Facts. All right, so you got a song called 2 AM in Miami. Yeah. How did that song come about? Oh, that was just a vibe. I'm in Miami, 2 AM. I'm like, let me <laughs> hit the stool. You know, if I have a Prada, Prada World, shit like that. If you know, you know. Facts. So in 2 AM in Miami, you said you're not dissing. I ain't dissing on no Not club. dissing to in increase uh -huh. streams. Yeah. So explain that. I ain't dissing on the dead to get no clout up on my streams. Basically, I'm not mentioning nobody that's dead to get to go viral, feel me? I'm just skipping to that bread in these thousand dollar jeans, respectfully. <laughs> like so that. how do you so what's your thoughts on people that do that? I mean, I really don't mind. They can do what they feel to do, feel me? I just don't do it. I'm just letting niggas know that's not what I'm doing. Respectfully. <laughs> okay. I'm not dissing on no dead to get no clout, nothing like that. And okay. I'm not even trying to do none of that anyway. That's giving them too much attention, for real, for real. Yeah. Okay. So you're not going to be no nah. diss tracks, no time, ever. <laughs> okay. So your project is out now? Yeah, it's been out since January, for real, for real. It's doing good, though. I shit out everywhere. Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, YouTube. It's definitely doing good, though. Tap in, Happy You Doubted Me, out now, volume one. So, yeah. um, so... I got one drill song on there that's fresh out, because that's like the yeah, first song I did since that came out, out for me. Other than right. that, everything is commercial. Like, you get into that shit, you be like, oh, no, that shit's different. Like, all right. All right. Since you dropped so early this year, would you do another project this year? Or you oh, no. Nah, I'm about to drop a project. I ain't going to lie. It's not going to be like that. I'm going to do it more for, like, the streets, this project, though. For me, like, oh, okay. More party, more drill, more for the females. Like, okay. you can mingle, too. Not just... I ain't gonna lie, that happy with daddy is like kind of in the mood to just relax, like, and start thinking and shit, you play that for me. With your shorty, you play some shit up there. Okay. Shit like that. Summertime, so I'm about to give him something for the parties and all that, the clubs, shit like that. All right, you have a release date yet, or nah, you still cooking up? Nah, my boy Drew about to drop a tape, so we waiting on that. That shit about to go crazy, and then I'm gonna drop my shit. Back. Okay, so y'all going back to back like that? Yeah, back to back, side <laughs> to side. That's a fact. Okay, okay. So tell the people where to find you and to find your music and all that good stuff. On Instagram, official underscore Rolito, R-A-H-L-I-T-O. I'm on all platforms too, Rolito. Follow me on the gram. Get with me. And I ain't gonna lie, tomorrow lit too. We got a big show coming up. We about to go crazy. Me and Drew about to go on tour too, so make sure y'all tap in. We going to Four Cities movie. Starting June 20. Let's see, if you remember. Let's see if you remember. June 21st. No, nah, we you going on tour June 21st okay. to the 27th. Yeah. Y'all working. I see yeah. if you remember your dates. Shout out DJ Drewski and all that. That's a big fact. Going viral. Yeah.